What is up, everybody? Woo! If you're wondering why I made that noise, my first cup of coffee is always rough. I put gelatin in it, and I also put collagen and greens. Uh, reason being is because collagen's real good for your skin health. So is gelatin to kind of help add the. Um, I'm just gonna put it. Hold on. Oh! Oh, come back up and attack me! Oh! Oh, damn! Look. I can't put the collagen and greens in my dairy, in my, in my shake, my protein shake, because it has dairy in it. My my coffee doesn't. I use almond milk as creamer in my coffee. Whew. Oh God, that's terrible. I go through this every morning. Um, to give you an idea. Just the first like ten ingredients: wheatgrass powder, barley grass, blue green algae, spirulina, which I take that in pill form too, flaxseed powder, cocoa powder, kale. Oh, kale is terrible too. Broccoli powder, spinach leaf and stem powder, parsley leaf powder, green cabbage powder, alfalfa leaf powder, chlorella algae powder, green tea leaf powder. Now, let me tell you, I take a lot of those things separately. Don't none of them taste good. All right. You gotta do something creative with the people. They're just like, put it in water. Oh no. Oh no. Not with this one. There is no put this in water. This shit is terrible. So you have to, and you wonder why do I put myself through it, right? So because gelatin and collagen are real good for loose skin. Um, because I'm starting to have that. I got a lot of it. A lot of skin that used to have fat under it now that and I'm not sure if you can see this but just like this right there you see the wrinkling and the and like how I guess supple or however you want to say it is um, it's because of me losing weight man I want to get into a video I want to get into this um, give me one second. You know, and this is kind of why I'm making this video. At first, I thought it was funny, man, when you would see these. You would see these um these videos of these people. Oh, look at this idiot, man! He's using the machine. He using the machine wrong. He's at Planet Fitness, a beginner gym, by the way. For those of you that say that you can't get any, you can't lose any weight at Planet Fitness, it's where the majority of my weight's been lost. I go to a couple different gyms now because they have a better opportunity for me to gain, put on gains. But, as far as Planet Fitness goes, oh, what, the f what am I doing? This is to my, Lord help me, help me please. But they say that, um, you can't make any true gains at Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is hard to make gains at, not even gonna lie. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is people be making fun of people at the gym. Like when these people are at the gym doing their own thing, they're 
is they're trying to make a change. They're trying to live better, trying to get healthy. And you see it, man. And I've even seen it at the gym where these people, like, they, they see a newbie, a beginner at the gym, and they start making fun of him, dude. And it's not cool. Alright, it didn't happen to me, and if it did happen to me, I don't care. I don't care what people think, but... Gotta get my creatine in. And I don't care what happens. I don't care if people make fun of me. Make fun of me, dude. Like, I'm at the gym doing my thing. Um... But you see a lot of it, and I saw I saw it happen with a girl actually. She's a big girl, man. She's a big girl, and like people were staring at her, like making fun of her or whatever. And I went over to her and was like, "Listen, if you you know need any pointers, you need any help." First, I mean, first off, I'm in no position to really help anyone. I'm still fat, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, it irritates me because these people, these, I need help this morning. These people, they, they post these videos and they want to like, they want to make people laugh at the expense of the people that are new in the gym. Forget, man. These people. These people made a decision to be something different. They're in the gym because they're trying to be better. You don't think that those people know they're fat? You don't think we know that we're fat? That I'm fat? That I need to work out? That I need to keep working out? Of course I do. Of course they do. We know. We don't need you to tell us. We also don't need you to make fun of us for using machines wrong. Or like whatever. If uh, like Here's the deal. Using machines wrong are, is dangerous. You really should learn how to use the machine before you get on it. Because you can hurt yourself. Or if you're doing something like deadlifts. I do a lot of deadlifts and stuff. You really should learn plop, pro, uh, plopper. Again guys. I need help today proper form because you really could hurt yourself that's not that's not judging you that's not being mean to you ha that's just common sense that you should know you should learn proper form you should learn how to how to do workouts and stuff that's not making fun of you but like if you're gonna get on somebody for if you see a newbie at the gym or somebody that doesn't quite look like they know what they're doing, if you see somebody at the gym and it doesn't look like they know what they're doing, maybe go help them. Like maybe don't post videos making fun of them. Let's forego that. Let's forego treating people bad and like maybe reach out a hand, you know. That's what I would do. And if you're making fun of someone at the gym because they're fat and at the gym, where are they, where are they supposed to go? Where is it okay for you, or where is it okay if you're one of them people that does that? Then you tell me where someone like me is supposed to go work out. Someone like me is supposed to go, you know, with other people who know what they're doing, you tell me where we're supposed to go. You want to know one of the reasons why I joined the gym? Other than the fact that I knew I had to start doing better? It's because gyms have people... There's different levels of everybody at the gym. You have your newbie, which I still consider myself. You know, you'll have your, your, your intermediate and your advanced. You also have gym staff, 
Um, there's classes there. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do. But the most important thing is that there's people there that know what they're doing. So you go to where the people are that know how to help you, right? Would you make fun of somebody who is an alcoholic and, uh, I don't know, maybe still had a little bit of a drinking problem, but they were at an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting? Maybe somebody who who has a, has a drug problem and maybe they still have a little bit of a drug problem but maybe they're at Narcotics Anonymous trying to get better, trying to learn a new way of life. Would you get mad at them for that? No, probably not, hopefully not. But when somebody who is overweight who obviously needs help steps foot into a gym you think it's okay that it's cool to just talk down to the person you're fat what are you doing here uh, but you may not have ever been fat but you don't know that person's story you know what I don't get anymore from people you're fat I don't get it. I mean, I'm still here. I'm just, I got a long way to go. I got years before I can consider myself fit or better. But like, I don't get that anymore because I slimmed down. I actually had someone yesterday when I was in the 400s, and this is crazy. When I was in the 400s. People always used to tell me, where are you? You know, 3.30 or so? And now that I'm right around 3.30, people, <laughs> this guy came up to me and said, he goes, what are you, like 3.30? And people, and, and you might see that as a way of being discouraged. Like, well, people thought when you were almost 100 pounds heavier, you were 3.30. Now you don't look any different after you lost almost all that weight. I do. I actually look a lot different. I think I do. I think I do now. Okay. Not as much as other people around me tell me, but I think I do. I can start to see it in the face. Not so much in the belly, in the man tits. Well, even they're getting a little smaller. So you haters are going to have to, like, find another reason to jack off to me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's plenty of reasons for you guys to hate on me. It's cool. Anyway, my point is, is this, um, these people, like the gym's already an intimidating enough place to go to, it is. When I first walked into Planet Fitness a few months ago, bro, well, let's just say I'm glad I started at a Planet Fitness and not at like a gold's gym or something um because I don't feel like I'd have succeeded at a, at a, at a what they call a meathead gym which I wouldn't call it that because that's just the exact opposite kind of shaming that I'm talking about but that's what people refer to it as In these gyms, in these places, people are at their own spot in their journey, okay? And you don't know where they came from. You have no idea what their story is, how far alone they've come to maybe even just get into the gym. Don't don't discourage people by making fun of them. What the response that the people had to that lady should have been was welcome. And like you could see the look on her face like 
she knew people were judging her. So I just walked over to her and said, hey, you know, if you need any help, let me know. And she was a little bit more comfortable after that. And I kind of stayed by her in the workout area. I'm against... But this video is not going to get monetized. I probably cursed already once or twice, but I don't give a fucking shit anymore. I'm against fucking bullying people, okay? And that's exactly what that is. If you're more advanced at somebody than something, and you notice they need help, then shut the fuck up and help them, okay? That's what you should do. You shouldn't be making fun of an overweight lady in a fucking gym when... Look how, you think you're an expert at everything in your life? You're a novice somewhere, too. How would you like someone to treat you that way in an area where maybe you don't have much experience? Right? Why is it... Why was it the other person that's still considered a beginner as far as I'm concerned? Why was it that I was more willing to go lend a hand to this person than you were? People don't come to the gym for people like me who aren't advanced. My first thought going into a fucking gym was let me let me was not let me go find the newbie. It was let me be around the people that know what they're doing and go stay around them and there is where I'll find the help. Not from the fucking newbie. And don't get me wrong, there are a ton of people in each of the gyms that I go to that I've gotten to know that are super great people. There's even this one lady that goes to another, one of the other gyms, the gym that I go to most of the time. I've seen her at my job, and <laughs> it's so funny because she's so, like, timid and quiet and... Like to herself and reserved when you put her in and but then when she fucking walks through them gym doors she turns into like Arnold Schwartz a woman this she's fucking crazy dude okay she I saw her I walked in one time saw her at the deadlift and I'm like there's no way no way she's about to deadlift all that and then I look stupid because she did and she's like loud and energetic and like running up to you and uh, flexing on you and like all this stuff stuff. She leaves the gym again, she turns back into a quiet little reserved mouse. It's so funny. Anyway. So here we go. And and I see her, she's definitely more advanced than I am. We do different types of workouts. But um she, I'll just say she's a little bit more knowledgeable than I am still, but like, those are the people, but she's welcoming to teach people stuff, and those are the people that you go to, that you go to the gym for, okay, they don't come to the gym for people like me, but why is it that in that group of people, I was the one lending a helping hand to the, to the other newbie, and not the people that are more experienced? Shouldn't be that way. Someone steps into that gym, it's a, it's a decision that they're making to change life. Why? Why ostracize them for that? Why? Why treat them bad because they decided to be something different and to do something different? I'm, I'm not sure why... Um, I'm not sure why that that's seen as as acceptable, as okay, as yeah, we'll just judge them, we'll just ostracize these people that are in here trying to make a change for the better. I don't understand it. I really don't. I don't understand why that's okay. I don't understand why people think that that's just something that's cool to do. 
Just ostracize the people. Let's make fun of them because they're big. Let's not congratulate these people or like, not congratulate them, but let's not like treat these people respectfully, right? Those people are not what's wrong. And I'm not speaking as like someone who's a fitness influencer because I'm not. Sorry, I just noticed more loose skin on my arm that I've never seen before. Um, those people are not what's wrong with with gyms. It's you. It's you. You're the. You're what's wrong with them if you think that's okay. These people made a decision, and they want to do better. And as fellow gym goers, I don't believe you have an obligation to help them do better, but you certainly have an obligation to make them not want to do worse. You certainly don't get the. You certainly don't have the right to. To make these people regret coming to the gym. That's the truth. You don't have that right. You sh you can't and you shouldn't ever ever want like ever do something that's going to take somebody else's uh, drive to be better away. And that's what you're doing by making fun of them when they come to the gym. Um, I don't know what's up with these longer videos that I've been making lately, but I've been really... I've been really, like, putting out longer videos. Um, some watch, most don't. It's okay. My YouTube is for me and the small little clique of people that actually understand my channel, that are actually like here for me and not here to mess with me, not here to to whatever, you know, and I don't include the trash talk circle when I say that because by nature the trash talk circle is the trash talk circle. Um, and the people in it, <laughs> you know, by nature that's how they came across me, that's how they know. So that's cool, I don't mind. but. Um, One thing I've found, I was telling people this yesterday, with this whole, like, me losing weight thing. Um, one thing I have found is that it's certainly, like, mentally, it's got me changing. And inadvertently, I didn't mean to, I don't didn't mean to make the changes mentally that I have. They just came along with me losing weight. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys later.